In the previous video we have checked that our AI for pedestrians does really work. Now we have some small issues with the spawning of our pedestrians. So what we can do is quickly go to our roads and choose our uh, road uh, dead end for example and choose the marker, focus on it, slide to it, make sure that we select for example Z axis to focus on Z axis and let's raise our markers to be above the road. Let's go to our road straight and let's do the same. Make sure that you focus on Z axis, focus on the uh, road, take the markers and raise them a bit. Those are raised correctly. Okay, curve, save the pedestrian again, choose one of uh, X or Z axis. Make sure that you are in the orthographic view by clicking the icon underneath the axis choice uh, tool. And we are going to select the markers and raise them a bit. Okay, be good. And let's choose the four way, save, let's move them up. Okay, and three way, save it. And let's do this for those markers as well. Focus on the correct axis, rise those above. Okay, use the arrow under the hierarchy to save it. And this should be it. And now, what we will need to do is to, uh, we want to actually show the path that our pedestrian is traveling we are going to click on the pedestrian and show its own path that it is traveling okay so what we are going to do is create a new object in our hierarchy let's call it path visualizer okay so we are going to add here a component let's go find the line renderer and this will be the component that will render our line you can see it down in the corner somewhere so this uh, allows us to place two points in the line renderer we have this points list we can put, put two points and it draws us a line so we want to set here the materials so let's choose this icon in the materials list in the element zero choose the material and let's type default and if we should have default line now we can see that this is our default line uh, above here we have the width so let's click this space and let's type point one and you should see that the line is uh, thinner. Uh, great. So now we have our line renderer ready. Then we can see, set the points to be point size to be zero to make this line disappear. And we are going to trigger the line using the pass visualizer script. So let's go to our scripts folder. Let's create new C sharp script and let's call it path visualizer. Okay. Let's open the script up. Great, let's delete everything from this script. We are not going to bother adding a new namespace. Let's create a line renderer. Great, let's call it line renderer. We are going to store a reference to our AI agent. Alt enter, say using simple city AI. We want to store the current uh, agent. Because we will want to disable the line when the agent disappears. Let's create start method. So type start. Okay. Line render equals get component of type line render. So this will get us the line render. Set make sure that line render dot positions count equals zero. So we make sure that uh, the line is invisible at the start. Next, we will have a public method public void show path. And this method will take a list of a vector three. So this is our path that the pedestrian has, vector three. And let's call it path. We are going to call AI agent to pass in agent. So we can get the reference to the agent. Let's pass here the color. So each agent will has its own color. So we will know that this uh, path it belongs to this certain agent. Next, what we are going to do is call reset path. So we make sure that if we have a path visible, we will reset it. Let's fill in this method. This will be simple. If our line render is not null, we are going to call line render dot position count equals zero. And next we are going to check if our current agent is not null. We are going to make sure that we call current agent on death minus equals reset path so that's why we have created this event and i have added those parentheses unnecessarily great 
and now we are going to set current agent equals now so we make sure that we reset the settings for our current agent so this on death will allow us to reset the line when the agent dies so if we are showing the line for this agent we are going to make sure that it calls in its on death event the reset path so we stop seeing its path okay so let's go back to the show path method we are going to type line render dot position count let's set it to be path dot count so we want the, the same number of positions as the path has line render dot start color equals our color that we have passed line render dot end color equals the same color great and we are going to loop for i equals zero i less than path dot count so we are going to loop through the path and we are going to add to our line render set position and we are going to set index i is the position path with index i again we are going to add to it new vector 3 to make sure that we are showing the line above the street so agent dot transform dot position dot y so we make sure that we show it a little bit higher and we will pass zero as the z value and we are going to finish this line so we have added all those points to our, our line render and it should automatically create our line next we are going to set current agent equals our agent and we are going to add to our current agent on death plus equals reset path so we make sure that we disable the path when our agent disappears it is destroyed because it has reached its destination okay let's save it now we will need to right click on the AI agent type and go to its definition because we will need to make sure that it shows at the path so what we will need to have here is underneath the all the properties we are going to create two more public color and let's call it path color and we are going to have path visualizer reference let's call it path visualizer okay and we will need to have a start method and of course we could decouple this path visualizer this was my concept with this on death so we could do it a bit better to not have this reference here but anyways let's call our path visualizer equals get a find object of type and we are going to pass path visualizer script as the type that we are looking for and make sure that you have this correct name for this parameter for this uh, variable and we are going to call path color equals unity engine dot random and we can randomize the color calling uh, calling color hsv and we are going to pass 0 1 f so those are only the uh, min max hue saturation and the value so 0 1 f and 0 f 1 f so this will be the random color for our path and what we will want to have here is a method public void show path and we are going to call here our path visualizer dot show path and we are going to pass path to go this as the agent and path color great so what we are going to do now is let's go back to unity great what we will need to find is our game manager in our hierarchy and let's go to those three dots and edit this script the game manager and let's take a break here and in the next video we will continue implementing the logic behind showing the path for each pedestrian so see you in the next video